Welcome back to another episode of Duke It Out. Today, folks, we have a phenomenal podcast guest person that I am talking to that it's gonna be on this episode. His name is Taylor Holder. You've probably seen him on your phone screen dancing like a douchebag. Everybody hates him, but he's actually a nice guy. Um, you're gonna love this episode. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Yo, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, bro, he's oh, a good? piece of shit. <laughs> Look, he's he's blowing his dick. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he has a problem, dude. He's got a serious issue. We're live? All right, are we good? We're good. All, All right, cameras we, are rolling? Cameras are good. We are back uh, with another fantastic episode of Shit It Out, which we should probably rename it to... <laughs> Duke It Out podcast. Uh, yo, yo, uh, where you at, pal? We got yo. special guests. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this guy. I, I know him. I kind of wish I didn't, but I know him. <laughs> and uh, apparently I'm turning into him by hanging out with him, which is like pretty dope. You guys don't like him at all. Everybody watching this, you probably dislike him. And that's why I want him on the podcast because I know you're going to get pissed off at it. But he ain't too shabby of a guy. T, hold my nuts. What's Taylor going on, baby? You, What's going on? This is actually, I just want to point this out. This is actually the second Oh, time. yeah, this is the second one. This is the second one that we filmed because <laughs> fucking... Yeah, what happened to the first here. one? Oh, fucking... He was trying to save the audio for He was trying to save the audio. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got, and we also have another guest here. Uh, his name is Thighs. Yeah, oh, Mr. Thighs. Thyroid. You know, Major? Uh, no, no, co-host. You said guest. I, I'm a fucking co-host. Dude. Oh. <laughs> You know what I mean? All right, we're giving this guy a new fucking, <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 what, what's it, a new tag on the, yeah. on the list. Yeah. All right, but uh, yeah, so this is actually our second one. We went to Taylor's fucking, um, what was that, what is that tour called? Oh, it was the t- Dylan Scott Dylan tour. Scott, yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. called Dylan Scott, right, it was, Scott no, no, tour? No, it was, uh, this town's been too good to us. Oh, uh, yo, that song's fucking fire. Yeah, no, it's really, and the, really and good. The, and the Vivo, Vovo remix, or whatever the fuck that's called, that remix the song, Oh, fire. yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you listen to that? Yeah, dude, Mad so good. good. But um, but yeah, we did a podcast there, and this guy that I pay that do all my podcast stuff, um, I probably should fire him because are you talk- you're talking about the guy that pays? Yeah, yeah, the guy that pays a lot. So lost all the audio to it, but um, luckily we didn't talk too much about everything going on in this dickhead's life. Um, but yeah, how is life with you, pal? How's life now compared to what it used to be? Let's start off with that. Uh, compared to what it used to be, mm-hmm. you were a dick, bro. I was. A piece of shit. <laughs> no, man. I mean, honestly, life now, dude, is way better. I mean, I have a, f- like, to be completely fair, like, I have a fraction of what I ever had out in L.A. And, like, I am so content with that, and I'm so much happier Bro, than I've money, ever been. I, 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 you, you can't even stress it enough how much money does not bring happiness. Fuck. At dude, all. Dude. Sometimes. It brings a lot of cool things that you can buy that suck. But then more stress. Yeah, yeah. No, I was, I was definitely like, we're starting off strong here, but I was definitely like depressed as fuck and at the absolute lowest point of my entire life. Like while you were living in LA, yeah, dude, and like not even, not even through like the last couple of years. Like I'm talking about like since like the second year I was ever in LA, it, I was like, I want to get out of here so bad, dude. But I dropped out of high school. I didn't. I, you know, I, I. That was the only way I was making money. It was putting everything yeah. on the plate for me, and I was like, wait, when, when did you, when did you, you dropped out? Junior year of high school? Uh, right after my freshman year. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And folks, oh, he's my mom hates piss. when I say that. I ended up. Doing Wait, your mom doesn't like that you tell people that you were homeschooled? Well, she goes. She was like, "Oh, he didn't drop out. I drop, and then I, I dropped out, and then I was living at a training facility, yeah. racing, and all that stuff, and then, and then I, you know, I enrolled into a homeschool and got my diploma and all that stuff, and so like I technically graduated. So. Bro, honestly, the way to go now in today's generation, uh, you're better off fucking homeschooling. Yo, if you have kids, you're gonna. Oh yeah, yeah, homeschool them all the way, dude. Uh, you see oh, what they? You they see what they do now, in the yeah. schools now? No. They put Bro. like litter boxes and shit. <laughs> yeah, bed so they can pee in the litter box. Bro, principal like like whoa, like whoa, 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 whoa. no, I'm not lying. Like principal, there was a principal at a school that started identifying as a fucking cat. That's what I would do to it. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, I and his it. ass smells too. <laughs> and it's not like whenever I tell you, dude, I picked this motherfucker, both of them, up from the airport yesterday, and we had to drive a little while to go buy or go go pick up some dirt bikes and stuff like that. 
We were in the car for two hours. I swear to God, How this bad? motherfucker. Bro, he doesn't. Shit I don't. Himself. I don't think a day went by without him shitting. His <laughs> a day went by. I don't think. I don't think five yeah. minutes, minutes went by. No, yeah. bro, and went. it smells though. It's like a sour <laughs> fucking <laughs> rape. <laughs> Bro, it's the sucks. worst <laughs> thing I've ever heard. It's the worst thing I've ever saw in my Yo, life, dude. Would you rather, would you rather, Bro. would you rather be in a car with me for fucking three days? <laughs> this guy's gonna piss his pants, bro. I'm gonna shit myself, dude. What? I just can't stand it. Mike, you lost your tooth. What? He spit dude. out his tooth no, in the bathroom. I just think it's, I, I, it's fucking idiot, dude. Oh, my God. Um, no, so... I, I personally think that the, the homeschooling is the way to go, well, especially nowadays. But back when you were going, it wasn't as obviously bad. Yeah. But what year was it that you moved to L.A.? I moved to I L.A. Totally at the end of 2015. Wait, what? Yeah, I moved right when I turned 18, man. TikTok like, was even a, was a thing at 2015? No, 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 no. Dude, I've been doing it since, like, Vine days, bro. Like, I was on... So I was on Vine uh, back in the day. I started, like, making these dumb videos when I was, like... 16 years old. Were they the cringe shit though? Were you making the were you making no, the fruity it shit? It wasn't it wasn't like that, but I was just so young that they were cringy. You know what I mean? Like my like the comedy back then that I thought I was being funny was yeah. just really dumb. You know what I mean? Um but no, I was like we, we started out making videos like fucking with people in public and like just like messing around and prank stuff and all that mm -hmm. and doing those dumb like painful challenge games on YouTube and all that stuff. And then um no shits then, are taken off, huh? Yeah, bro. And then I and then I ended up moving out to LA because I told my mom, I was like, Mom, I don't know what this is, but I I I, I want to be famous on the internet and I'm gonna go do it. I had like less than oh. ten thousand followers, man. And it without understanding like what it really came with, I yeah. was like, I'm just gonna go out there, I'm gonna be famous on the internet, and I'm gonna be rich and be living this coolest lifestyle ever. And that shit's dead. Just to find out that it absolutely fucking sucks. Yeah. Would do you like do you feel like you were like forced into the whole like dancing bullshit, dude? So like, how were you just like kind of doing what everyone else would do? Because bro, you could have yeah. went another route and just made yourself not look like a oh. fucking cock rock, dude. If I could, if I could go back and do it again, I would absolutely do uh, it. Like, what would you change if you could go so back in terms everything. of how you, how you in videos? Could and, and not everything. saying not to go to L.A. Like, go to L.A. What, what would you have done different if you went to L.A. rather than like go to this hype house and all this bullshit? I wish I would have went out to L.A., done my social media stuff, and done the collabs that I did, but I actually did what I did growing up. Like, that's why I made, you know, the country music side of stuff, the just anything, like, dope lifestyle stuff that I actually do, you know, growing up an all-around athlete, you know, and then and then racing motocross and doing this and doing that, like, I, and team roping. Like, I wish I would have went out to L.A. and still, like, worked on, like, roping and still uh, posted about moto and stuff, Bro, you like, look all kinds of stuff instead of doing this, but, like... You know, I did very much. I got thrown in. I, I ended up moving into the same um, apartment complex. It was called 1600 Vine. That's where, like, Jake Paul, Logan Paul lived, Cameron Dallas. Like, all these, all oh, the I Vine guys, about like the Dolan twins, yeah, and every, everybody. Vine, yeah. yeah. And so I, 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 I moved there, and I was like, I'm going to put myself in every every position to make it. Like, I was always that kid that I had to. But I what, had what, what, like, what was your, <clears throat> and this is going to sound like an ass question. No, 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 no go for it. <clears throat> When you were making the videos of like doing, what was your goal that you wanted to like become? Dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was sucked around so many horrible people, man. Yeah. That like it really is true, man. You are who you hang around, and yeah. like whenever I was hanging around, damn, all that means these I'm other, fucked up. I'm hanging out with you, bro. No, damn, dude, you're about to yeah. literally, you're about to turn into. Really? Yeah, no, you're done for, dude. You no, but I bought I bought a spray on Amazon. That's like Taylor Holder spray. So when you're near me, <laughs> oh, yeah. I just fuck it. It's get the fuck away from yeah, me, spray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I gotta spray that shit fucking nine times a week. Yeah. When I'm That's the one that comes out of your ass. Yeah. Yeah. Were you but, ever on Vine? No, I wasn't on Vine. No. You never had Vine though, right? No, 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 no. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, and then I and was, then, so, I was so, too young. Like I and then it moved from that to that's whenever musically came out. You remember musically? Mm -hmm. It was TikTok before TikTok. Oh my it was God, like, bro. it was like I, when the videos, videos were like sped up yeah. and shit. And yeah, yeah, like yeah. Going like this. Yeah, Josh Richards. Show, yeah. show the video. Show the video, y'all. Come on, dude. Show those fucking bro, videos. Yo, you, you know, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm I'm gonna be like completely honest with you. And I've said this to you multiple <sighs> times, but I gotta let the people like. There has been times that I've been like at work, and I remember I was working. This was before I started making videos. I worked at this bagel place. They used to call me fucking CC because I used to make cream cheese. I was a fucking <laughs> asshole, bro. I would make cream cheese. And, bro, I would sit in the back, and I would scroll, and and your videos would pop up, and I would 
because I knew you were making so much fucking money while I was being a dick making cream cheese. Yeah. Why you were just, you making cream cheese, bro? bro I worked at a fucking bagel This guy place. continues to say he's making cream cheese, bro. because bro. cream cheese is made with <laughs> seltzer. You would not believe it. Get the fuck out of here. With seltzer? Yeah. <laughs> like the alcohol? What's seltzer? No, no, like, like regular seltzer. Alcohol. Oh, oh, like a, like a, like a, I get what you're saying. Never mind, never mind. Like actual seltzer water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so bro, I would sit there and, and I started to hate you. No, I, dude, it's so funny because we, we've actually talked about this quite a bit, like off camera. And what it was, man, was just like you, you're like, I fucking hate this because he's making so much money, this and that, mm-hmm. right? And not to be like that guy, but like, I saw, I saw everyone else doing that same thing. Everyone in LA is like ego is up here, so they let they let everyone know what they make and yeah. what's in their bank account. And I was like, "Fuck, bro, I gotta do that, man. Like, I got it. What? A hundred thousand a month? Two hundred thousand a month? This? That? I was like, but that's why fuck, people. Bro? That's why people were hating you because that's yeah, a main reason why. Well, I dude, hate I, I mean, like, I I seriously, I swear to God, man. And it's just it's a part of growing up. Like, I can't ever change the, the my my face and my views and my videos of all the cringy shit that I did. Are out there to haunt me for the rest of my life, bro. Yeah, it's like Everyone having an OnlyFans account. Yeah. Your nudes are there forever. It's on the fucking and internet, so, and so it's out there, man. All I can do is embrace it and understand that, like, fuck, that was you. Bad. Yo, I'm not gonna lie though, bro. You made a fucking U-turn quick out of nowhere because yeah. I never, I actually well, dude, personally never was, thought you were a country dude at all. And yeah. I was, I was one of the people viewing that are like, ah, this dude just one day was shaking dick and the next day throwing ropes. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Pal? And then, like, <laughs> bro, and then, uh, honestly, all you got to do to prove these people that are actually country is call your fucking parents, dude, and let and them talk talked, on the phone. He talked bro. with my mom and my dad on the phone. Well, uh, Taylor, you be good out there now. Just don't take any, uh, don't take the barn animals for you. I'm in the back <laughs> like, oh, shit. <laughs> and, then, and then the pops calls up, yeah, I'm going to fuck that guy right in his face, man. I'm going to yeah. take his thumb and shove it in his ass. I'm like, all right, well, golly. Yeah. And, and so dude, that that has been like a hard thing to like transfer out of because obviously for seven years, man, I, I was doing this content. I was around all these people making the content that the reason that everybody hates me for yeah. and, and is cringe, all, which I completely You were just playing follow the leader, bro. That's how it is. Yeah, it's, and and I mean, dude, I, I honestly think that like I, it's such a surreal lifestyle to look back on and talk about now that like that's why it's like it's kind of funny to like joke about now. Oh, but, fuck like, yeah. It's like, but like I'm saying like, I, you know, making the money that I was making, dude, between us, like, I, dude, I was doing like two, three hundred thousand dollars a month. Yeah, bro, that, that, when you told me that on the pot, I was thinking maybe millions like. Of views, like, in my head at that moment, bro, I was a, man, I was, I moved out to LA 18 years old, no parents, no discipline, man. I had no one to keep me grounded. I was around all these freaking people that are, you know, luckily I never got into the party scene. I never, like, I've never drank in my life, man. I think it's funny because, like, there's all these people that are always like, oh, I've seen them drunk at parties. I was like, I, I would pay you money to show me. me yeah, you're drinking non alcoholic beers yeah. and shit. Yeah. And, and, but, dude, <laughs> I go out here, dude, I'm around, like, the worst influences ever, man, dude. And yeah. uh, I just see money, I see f- views, and I see all this stuff, man. It, I, once I blew up, I started being, like, a, like pieces of shits to my friends. I made my friends move out so I could move in more famous people to the house just to benefit myself. Like, I was, I just wasn't. I just wasn't the best guy back then, you know what I mean? And then and then coming out of that to trying to, you know, do what I actually love to do, music, let alone country music, and like also just post content that I want to post. You now always saying though, whatever or did that come out of left field? fucking post. So it was funny. I um I I I played instruments like my whole life. So I, I grew up, I got my first guitar when I was like nine years old. Mm. I uh, I started playing guitar, then I wanted to, you know, then my parents got me a drum set because I wanted to learn how to play drums. Then I picked up piano and then I played saxophone in school. And like I always just loved the idea of music, but I, I suck ass, dude. And also, like I'm from a small town. We got three thousand people in my hometown, dude. Like no one really even makes music there. Like no one really gets out of Alvarado. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, and so I I wanted to be the first person to like really put Alvarado on the map. And uh, and I I, I don't know. I'm I got put in, it I was on the map around. In the wrong you know, way, I was pal. out there. I was. I was. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm put him on the map. Yeah, man. dude. Fuck, dude. You're supposed Fuck. to do it in this way. Yeah. You got, Taylor gets put on the map, and I'm right off for. Shaking too much dick on camera. <laughs> Yo, Sean, give me another beer ski. Beer ski. Um, um, and so I, I, I knew a lot of you know from from having such great success on the internet. I was like, I met other artists out there. I met producers, songwriters, all this stuff. And I got in the studio and made some like really, really shitty music for a long time, like way shittier than like my shitty music now. You know what I mean? Like it was yeah. really bad. 
And but I just loved the idea of it. And I was like, I want to, I want to figure this out, man. And I just, I started singing every day. Started watching YouTube videos of like how to sing, vocal lessons, vocal warm ups. I'd practice like I'd listen to people sing and practice their. Did runs. you? Did you? What about the? What about the? Um, did you practice the faces? Fuck you, dude. Oh, Fuck you, you fucking <laughs> piece of shit. Was it shit? Dude, I get ripped for that Bro, shit, man. Well, you. You I don't know, home. man. Uh, I just, it's just like the fucking. I could say it's like the passion of me singing. And I'm just. I, it's just. You like, start crying and shit. Yeah, bro. Like I start crying. I start hyperventilating. I yeah, start I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, bro. I'm not gonna lie. There's some of them that you you sing like you have to shit, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like you're no, like, yo, that's. Oh, I seen. I seen something. That's actually mad good that you do that though. You're not afraid to show. Yeah. You know, bro. I mean, I, if anything, I, what, it's just more common. I mean, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 I think it's crazy that like. And this is getting, like like some of your shit is actually pretty decent. Not gonna lie, your music, you're, you're, it's good actually. You're, that that one song that I always say I like, going uh, out sober. Yeah, that's a good song. Yeah, damn, I appreciate. I'll be that, straight man. up and say that's a good song. And but um, and it's funny because it's people like even if they like it, they they won't have the balls to say they like it, which is like. It's I so think funny. it's funny. I just got comfortable. Like I don't even care. Like I, I don't even care to say. Like, no, dude, it's I, not bad. It's so funny because like Fuck there like, is there dude. is like all these people too. I got a comment the other day from this guy. He was like, "Not gonna lie, bro, I jam your music every time I'm alone, but I could never tell the homies." <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, was God, like, no. I was like, yo. "Fucking respect, yo. man. I don't even care, bro." Yeah, fuck. Fuck. Oh man. Oh. So, I'm gonna get homie on this bitch. Yeah, bro. Dude, what the fuck? You suck dude. at pouring. What beer. the fuck? <laughs> Bro, you're Dude, if that does that Irish. whenever you pour it into the glass, I could only imagine what it does to your insides. Like, yo, major no, 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 no. Well, yeah, that's the thing. If you pour it, if you pour it slow, that that's what happens inside. But if you pour it fast as shit, it's not gonna it's not gonna explode inside your stomach. You know, you'd probably you'd probably grow hair on your balls if you started drinking. Beer. I have hair on my balls. Dude, he I don't drinks have it on my beer, face. bro. Yeah, but they they I don't have it on my beer. face though. When did your nuts drop last week? Uh, <laughs> probably. That's that's, cool. that's being generous. Morning, yeah. yeah, that's being generous. Yo, so let me ask you something. Okay, I was looking at my fucking sh- on my shit talk feed. You fucking popped up, and there's no way you don't know. You, you, you was talking about you know Justin Bieber and fucking. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, Drake, J Lo, yeah, French Montana. I have, I have connections with J Lo. I have a connection with French Montana. I didn't Drake. say no, my that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said no, 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 no. They said bro, just shit. They said, bro is delusional. They they did. (laughs) (laughs) You are though, dude. Bro, you you think you think shit, and it's not true. It's no. not true. Yo, you don't bro know those fucking delusional. people, bro. See, th- Stop no, 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 going see, on the internet. You see, this is this is the, the problem. Fuck? This is the problem, not alone with you fuckers, <laughs> but like the world as well, right? Because no one goes and looks at the actual podcast that that was posted on. No one goes and does a research about what was like the what was like the 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 like the con- lead up yeah, to the lead up that, to the context it. Yeah, yeah. of that. Right, yeah, yeah. And also, I wasn't. That's why I asked the guy to actually delete that clip because I don't like talking like that and being like, "Oh, I know this, this, and this." Wait, 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 was, wait, was that, wait me, before you, was that was this the podcast we were on in Utah? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. and 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 he asked me basically like what led up to that was you know what like what famous people like really famous people do you know and like do you like talk to or whatever I and and I was like, oh, bro, like I I hate being that. like I don't like doing that, man. But it, there was like a whole context led up to it. But I, everyone was like, bro's delusional. Bro's never met this person. Bro's <laughs> never met that person. And I'm like, dude. And, and I, Bro is delusional. <laughs> bro's delusional. Yo, and I'm you, like, dude, there was some, there was some people in the comments. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Yo. There were some people in the comments, though, that were like, not going to lie. I wanted to hate on this motherfucker. But I went to all of their Instagrams and they all follow oh, him. And, and dude, like. I have never been like, those are my best friends. But have we had real conversations? Have, like, do we follow each other? Do we message? Like, yes, is it on a daily basis? Yeah, you basis? showed me the DMs. I'm not going to lie. He showed me the DMs. It's, yeah, yeah, we've it's, seen it's, it. It's like, dude. I don't, I don't believe, I still like, don't that's believe my it, best though. Fr- no, no, it was Photoshop. These are, these yeah. are like real. <laughs> 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 Yo, it really was. And, and it's, it's, it's funny because everyone, it, I'm such an easy target, right? Because. I'm just I, all I've ever been known as is this cringy TikTok guy. Yeah. Like, but you know, I've I've had real moments with these people, and like the the question was was like how like all these like influencers think that they're a list celebrities, and he was like, what real a list celebrities are have been like real to you? And I was like, through the roughest year of my entire life, 
people that have still been in contact with me are this, this, and this. And it wasn't like me trying to name drop, but that one little clip that got posted on yeah. TikTok made it seem like that. And everyone... But, and it's crazy because the only shit... The only shit that like will get views is when it's like gonna target you because it's almost Dude, like absolutely, bro. Because it's people, almost like the algorithm is after you. It, it, people just love to hate me. And TikTok I don't blame does not them, fuck man, with you, like, dude. I don't. I don't like that <laughs> guy. I didn't mean to like name drop. Yo, I no. like it's like there is real dickheads that like were, it would be in my shoes that would be like, oh, you don't think I know him? Well, here's my DMs with this person. Here's this. Here's like, yeah. If you know what's true, at his birthday and this, and yeah. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck does that like? You I'm not gonna lie. The J Lo flex is crazy. I got introduced. To, to her through uh, my my good friend Stevie Mackey, which I used to do vocal lessons with whenever I was living in L.A. And um, we uh, we we started out, I think the first time we ever hung out was uh, when all the uh, Black Lives Matter and all that stuff was going on. And, and we were like marching together and all that. And we got we had a good squad out there just like spreading love, all that stuff. And then Stevie does these like Taco Tuesdays. Fuck you. What are you laughing at? <laughs> yeah, dude. And then I'm Stevie, sorry, Stevie bro. Mackey does these like Taco Tuesday nights where they have karaoke and taco trucks and all that yeah. stuff. And she would always come to those. And they're, they're, they're really, really good friends. And she's always been nothing but good to me and really, really sweet. And that's all, that's all I was saying is like real, real celebrities are like the most genuine and kind. Don't get me wrong. They're, they, there are some that are assholes or and dicks, don't give right? a shit, man. But like the real ones that have had real success, that have been through real moments in life, are the no, ones no, that how, will sit there yep. and talk with you and yep. help you through this because they they've actually, been through it. They actually have been through it, and like, like you know, one of the realest motherfuckers I've, I, I actually am like, like that is my older brother, and I would literally, no matter like what happened, I'd fucking die for that motherfucker. He's the realest man I've ever met in my entire life. Ooh. Jelly Roll, like Yo. people like that, because if you hear Jelly Story, I just got chills because I said that that man has seen me fuck up online from all any anything or whatever. He sees me making mistakes in life. He calls me and he's like, you have like real potential. You have this, you have that. And he was like, he told me, you know, his stories of, of all this stuff. Yeah, wasn't how, he like he homeless and shit? Every, like, you know, he had a, he went through a lot of stuff, man. It's not my story to tell, it's his. But, you know, moral of the story is he was like, I believe in you and like, I don't want to see you go through the same thing I went through. And like... Whether it was literally a phone call or he talked to me for eight hours, man, him picking up the phone and calling me instead of just being another one of those guys that just watched me fuck up and just let me fuck up instead of calling me and like being like, hey, buddy, like da 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 da. Yeah. Like that speaks volume about that person. Oh, yeah. That meant the world to me. And that's something that whether I make it in life or I never do, that's something I will carry with me for the rest of my life because those moments mean more to me than anything in my life. That's crazy. You think people are going to clip this and be like, yo, bro's delusion. Bro's delusion. <laughs> bro. Bro's delusion, yo, bro. Bro, bro really thought. <laughs> bro, bro, like, that's crazy. Bro yo, dreamed it. Thanks. Yeah, I, 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 feel like, I feel like there's no way out of it for you, dude. Like, there's really no... Just you like, always try. I don't know what it is, bro. I, could, I, I feel could like the more you try, the worse it gets. I could literally... <laughs> Post a photo with these people, be like this. They'd be like, "How much did you pay him to be in a photo?" Yeah, with you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah because how much? Wait, like, wait, how much did you end up? How much did you end up paying Drake to DM him? <laughs> yeah. Oh my so, god! So all right, uh, what happened? So all the other fucking crazy bullshit. Wait, wait, what you say? I'm saying all the other drama bullshit that you got yeah, going yeah, yeah. on that that happened that was way in the past. Whatever it was, yeah. what the fuck? Dude, I've it's so funny because everyone's like, "When are you gonna talk? When are you this?" What I've talked on it so many times. You talked on like, it. I, I've I've it, it, my ears are bleeding now. The amount of times I've heard it. I, I've realistically <laughs> talked about it a lot of times, man. Do you talk um, about it on every podcast you do? Basically, damn near, man. And 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 that's what is the annoying thing is like there literally is just the public will only ever see what they see. Like everyone sees small clips. They'll yeah. never do their research and try to find And they never put they never put the good because clips. Because exactly, man. And and also where like everyone's like, "Oh, this this and this happened." This I'm like, "Okay, show me." Oh, uh, I heard it on this pot. No, no, no. Show me. Show me real shit cuz all that stuff is public knowledge. It does, like if anything like actually happened to me, you can go look it up. There there's never been one single thing file there's never been one police report there's never been and like this is what's annoying man i could talk on this i'm not even gonna go down the rabbit hole because i've talked on it so many times but if and everyone's like oh that's not a good valid explanation that's not this like if i really did something as bad as what these people try to say i did i would not be here talking to you guys right now i would not be doing all this amazing stuff that i'm still yeah doing. i feel like and, bro, uh, this, and this. here's the, here's the thing man is the the people that it actually had to do with all of my dude all of my friends man 
every single one of them. I have just just to also be clear, I have spoke to every one of those people. Every one of like the people that have left me in everyone LA? thinks that everyone just left me in this and that. I have I have spoke to, spoke yeah. one on one, FaceTimes, in person, this and that. I've spoke to them. We're cordial. Everything's fine, but it's just like that's how the internet works, man. Everyone just runs when shit gets hard, man. Everyone just runs whenever shit gets weird. Like instead of actually like, and a they real, believe everything. Dude, a real. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Like what the hell anyone wants to accuse me of? That showed me enough that those are not those are not my real friends, man. Yeah, because nah, fuck that a shit. real friend, no matter what you've been through in life, because those friends that left me have been through real things and real bottoms, and I never fucking walked. Bro, away L.A. people, fuckers. L.A. Yeah. people could suck the inner but outer core of my dick, dude. All I'm all <laughs> I'm gonna say is. There was, and, and I, I, dude, whenever I went through all that shit, man, and no one will ever explain, dude, or no one will ever understand. It's like, I was one man with the entire army of social media against me at one time. Not one of my friends ever came to me and asked me what happened, what was going on, this, that. So I could be like, bro, like, I, 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 I I'm sorry if that's being said about me, but here's literally everything, like, like. Boom, boom, like documents. Oh, man, I came through with man. the receipts type shit. I, I had everything. And everyone's like, oh, cease and assist, this and that. Oh, they can't do yeah, this. Yeah, I've seen a lot of shit on that, too. Yeah. Dude, a, a Wait, letter, can I ask a, you a letter something? Doesn't, I'm about to ask uh, this. What the fuck is that? Uh, it, it's <laughs> basically like a letter being like, hey, if you don't publicly and internally stop spreading false rumors or a false narrative about me, we can go to court and let oh, the okay. real truth yeah, come yeah. out. Was that a like, retarded? Was that a it's basically question? would be like a, a defamation, like defamation, like lawsuit in a sense and all that stuff. Okay. Um, and you know, here's the, here's the, here's the real shit, man. Of like, I've never really like opened up like this much about it, I guess I'd say, but fucking, um, so the person that it actually had to do with, um, I, you know, obviously I had, I had a great legal team. I had, I had all that stuff and we handled it the right way offline. Like it should have been handled to begin with. Um, because nowadays, you know, you can be active with someone for, you know, six months, a year, this and that, and then they can just fucking hate you and say whatever the hell they want to. Right. Yeah. Um, well, you know, luckily I keep receipts. I kept all that stuff, you know, because I was afraid of, of, of stuff ever happening like that. You know what I mean? Like it, being a high profile or doing this or doing that, you know, that's, it's yeah, very normal in, yeah, the, in yeah. the new like age. Oh, everyone's like, always and, out the blind side, especially someone with money man. and shit. But yeah. no, dude, the, the person that it had to do with, you know, legally we talked all that. Like the, our 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 attorneys talked and and all that stuff. And you know, I I was basically like, hey, you know, I, you guys need to make this right, or I have no. I've lost my entire life, man. Like you, I I would have no other option besides lay all of this out yeah. and let everyone know what the heck actually happened. Right. And of course, you know, they, for very like understandable reasons, because of what I had, they didn't want that out there, bro. And they were like, my clients will shut up. They want nothing to do with this anymore. And I was like, you don't get to just come in and fuck up my entire life yeah. and be like, I want nothing to do with this anymore. But here's like the, here's like the hard part. Right. So this is the shit that all these fucking idiots online like fail to do the research, they just jump to conclusions because they hear something really quick and then they just jump and hate everybody. Dude, I was, you know, my whole legal team, everything, dude, I was paying. I was paying oh, you must thousands have of dollars in lawyer, lawyer fees, lawyer bro. Fees. I lost the moment that I the moment that all this shit started happening, I lost every brand deal. I lost everything. I lost a sponsorship to my house. So I was stuck paying twenty thousand dollars a month for my house. I had to pay like like an ungodly amount of money for like crisis PR because I'd never been in this before, but everyone's like this, this, this. And I was like, okay, just fix it. I don't know. I'm freaking out, bro. Like I'm like, bro, I like, would have been, like, been tweaking. Like, I would have been tweaking. That's why like, I'm like, Hey, let's go, let's go legal around. Like let, let, like let the real shit come out. Like stop this social media stuff because we live in a fucking time where like everyone will just hear something and just believe everything that they fucking hear without having one bit of fucking proof. Not one thing actually filed, like all this stuff, man. And, um, dude, I, I, uh, I lost, my entire fucking life, dude. Wait, how old were and you at this time? This was um, um, like almost to the day two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. And, um, that's when I first met you, I think. And um, and so, dude, that's fucking. They were like, "We will shut up, man. We want nothing to do with this anymore." Da 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 da. Bro, I lost. I already lost everything, bro. I couldn't even sue them for defamation. I couldn't even do nothing because I was broke, bro. I had no fucking money anymore. They took my entire life away from me, and I couldn't even fight it. Oh, but like in the moment, dude, I, 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 I fucking curled up because, dude, I was one man. I, you know, the only motherfuckers that I had around me was B. Dave and Tyler. Those are the only people that stuck with me through everything. And at the time, they weren't financially stable to help me with anything. They were just literally like, what brothers did you did to you me, do man. something to these motherfuckers in the past that just made them want to backstab you like that? Or you were just no like, man, uh, no. Were you dude, nice I, to everyone, I, or were you? Man, 
man, I could I could obviously say this, but once again, everyone's gonna just assume whatever they want, dude. But um, no, nah, man, dude, I I I have always, dude, from from all my friends, like aside from any anything of that went on with that, dude, I've I've given people tens of thousands of dollars out of my own. Yeah, pocket. you were I've, saying that. That's I've crazy. I've given money out. I've given homes and couches out to. I've taken people off the streets, like all these influencers that are now the top. Like they all, you know, they slept on my couch at one point. They at the lowest point of their life when they lost their entire life. I was there for them. I fucking flew them out to me to be not be alone on Christmas and New Year's and let them sleep on my couch because no one else gave a fuck about them. Um, no, like man, what it is, dude, is like it's just everyone. <sighs> out there is like how can I benefit from this person what can I get from this person and no one actually really gives a shit about people and therefore like right whenever you know if 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 they don't agree with something they're like ah fuck it everyone's disposable out there or or if something gets hard for somebody they care so much about their image and their and their likes and their views and all this stuff to to be like instead of sticking with them dude and trying to fucking help like a real family or yeah. a real friend they just fucking run they're just like ah oh, fuck that then all right well he's done all right let's go over here now and see what I can do over here and like the thing that fucked me up the most about this about everything man was um all these people bro I've known them for fucking seven eight years bro like straight these people are borderline like family to me now and um you know fucking. Sure, I get it. Like whenever I'm going through that shit, man, like I understand. Like you, no one would want to publicly be associated with someone going through that at that time. Yeah, and um, like that's not even like what fucked with me, dude. It was. It wasn't even like oh they they whatever. Like they don't want to see be seen with me. They don't want to post what or they oh they unfollow yeah, bro, me. It's like, like I don't that, care, man. They like, don't the be... thing that fucked me up the most was um, oh, fuck, bro. You won't say okay. No, no, you're good. Um, fuck, dude. it's just uh, this shit fucks with me a lot, man. Bro, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, and just um, reading your shit, I'm like, that's fucking, that shit's crazy. Yeah, man. Um, no, dude. For me, the only thing that fuck with me the most is like off the record. These people have known me for years, bro. They knew my heart. They knew what I've done. They 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 knew everything about me. Not one of them offline. Off the record, with no one knowing, everyone had my phone number. Everyone knew where I lived. Um, <sighs> fuck, dude. Um, you, can't, you know what it is, bro. And um, no one, no one, like no one, just picked up the phone, called me, came over to my house with no one knowing. It was just like, "How are you doing, Taylor? Are you okay? Like, like, what can I do to help?" Like, knowing that I was at the absolute lowest point of my life. People don't know this, man. Like, I didn't give a fuck, bro. I, I tried to kill myself. I didn't give a fuck, dude. I didn't like. I literally could give a fuck about anything, and like. <laughs> Picking myself back up after all that. But it's um, like, you're fucking, you got to look at, dude. like, if you think about where you're at now with what you went through with all that shit and all the allegations and everything, like, you're, like, killing it right now, dude. Yeah. Whether people yeah. shit on you and whatnot. Fuck. and like fucking pussy, dude. No, what do you, oh. bro? Bro, people going to say shit regardless, uh, bro. Who gives a fucking dude, like, rat's no, dick? Want me to cry like, with you? I'll I'm cry with you right <laughs> now, bro. <laughs> no, man. Because uh, I shit four times and I need to change my underwear. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> this guy's got to fucking wear a diaper. Nah, bro. bro. My thing, though, is like real, real talk, man. I mean, aside from all that, is as much as it's like... Like I say, like, dude, like, I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life now because... Not not because of what I went through. Not, I mean, dude, I've hated my life out there for a long time, man. Before any of that shit, dude. But, um... I, I would be lying if I said that this didn't fuck up my life forever, dude. I was always like such like a... A happy, like energetic, like loving person, and man, I go out now, and you know, I have the most crazy anxiety. I definitely am in like. Well, that's why I had to start boxing. Minor stage so of people depression. Have to, so you have to fuck someone up in yeah, case bro. you have to. Yeah, I don't know. I watched you spar, bro. You yeah. got some quick hands, Brody. But I, don't I like should probably that. stop making fun of you because you might pop like me in the that. dick. I don't, I don't like doing that anymore, Shit. Either, man. And like, you know, I just it's fu- it's fucked with me, dude. Like hard and uh. You know, I go out in public and even with friends, you know, because these were like people that left and stuff like that. These were people that I've known for fucking half my life, man. And nowadays, like, I don't, dude, I don't, I don't know how to like really like love people. I don't know how to, and I sound like a fucking soft ass motherfucker, dude, but like, I don't, I don't trust anybody because if someone that could be my friend for so long and leave because of something they were so unaware of and so like misled and misguided on and, um, all that stuff and leave so quick, why the fuck would anybody else not leave too? You know what I mean? Like that's what goes through my head. And not saying that that's how everybody is. But, you know, aside from any of that, dude, I, I really, man, I, I and, as, and as weird as this sounds, 
I think I really do. I thank God every day that I went through what I went through because if I didn't, I wouldn't have got to experience the craziest year I just had of my entire life. Yeah, um, bro. You, you, right. Whenever I went through sick. all that and I lost my entire life, um, I got the chance to go perform at CMA Fest. The um, what? At CMA Fest. It's a, um, oh, I saw that. And I got, I, to, I got to go perform there. Um, I've performed there two, two years in a row now. And, uh, you know, I, I got to go out there and, 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 Stay with a buddy of mine at the time. He was, or stay with a buddy of mine. Um, and then at the time I was out there, I got to write a song with Shay Mooney from Dan and Shay. I got to, you know, perform at Parker McCollum in my in my hometown in front of thirty thousand oh, people. I, like I, I got to, I got to go and on the road and just experience like life with some of my idols and meet all these amazing people. I I just got to, you know, I got the I got the biggest blessing and opportunity of my life to go with one of my best friends out here in Nashville. Freaking um. Dylan Scott, like that's a man I will literally think well, he's for a the cool rest dude, of my life. Bro. He's the because Undertaker. When I, when everyone, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yo, you can't lie, dude. He looks no, like yeah. the Undertaker. Does, and yeah. yo, when I told him that, he, yeah. played, he rolled his eyes back. And, um, he rolled his eyes back. He played and I was like, the role. Um, <laughs> and um, you know, I, I, uh, you know, he, you learned he, a lot. Probably he took from a chance. Him too. He took a chance on me whenever everyone told him, "No, don't mess with this kid. Don't do that." Like. But he had, he is someone that spent real moments with me. We went on hunt trips. We went on this. Like he spent real time with me to know me instead of trying to just like see some portion of my life on the internet and judge me from it or try to like whatever, dude. You know what I mean? At that point, I was just doing it. Like I said, I was doing anything to just be famous and make as much money as I could. I had no idea what real life was. But I I, I say that all with saying like I thank God every day because that was the best thing that ever happened to me in the worst way possible. Because I think that like I was out in L.A. for a long time. Um, years and years and years and if God putting all these people in front of my life that was like talking shit about me behind my back using me and all this stuff and like I was too arrogant and ignorant to like listen to these signs that he was putting in front of my face and um, I really really strongly believe that like he just was like I'm about to really fuck your life up for a long time Taylor for you to understand what I got planned for you man no because, lube, nothing. Um, because serious to God man if I wouldn't have went through any of that that I went through I would be not be able to do what I just did and I have such great success and such great support in the country music scene whether anybody believes it or not you know the music's getting better as we, Bro's as we go yeah, what about the yeah you're <laughs> I'm delusional, I'm delusional. <laughs> yo he's a piece of shit dude yeah, you are just, delusional it's just funny no, I'm just, no, but 100% I'm, I'm burned bro. man I'm burned <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you something right now when I hang out with you and I post you and all that shit and people get mad at me, I like, I like, I'm like enjoying it now. Cause it's like, cause it's like, dude, wow. Like you're that much of a hater because this dude's making all this fucking money and you're tight. Like, bro, he saw, it, he saw it firsthand actually yesterday. It was funny, man. Um, you, yo, you rip on a fucking dirt bike, dude. I don't listen. You, you could literally, you could literally be, do the most fruitiest shit of all time. If you throw your leg over a fucking dirt bike and do what you did. Fuck it, fuck it. He saw it firsthand, or they both did yesterday, man. We got a, uh, I forgot what happened, but he, someone was like, hating on him, and some dude was in his his DMs like, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Talk about that. You're you're hanging out with a. No, I'll tell you. He was saying that. No, no, he was saying some dude messaged me because a lot when a lot of people message me, they don't think I'm gonna see it, but I, I I see like a lot of it. And he messaged me. He said he wrote um he wrote I'm disappointed in you, bud. And I just wrote back. I answered it. I said, "Love you, G, with a heart." And then he wrote back and said, "Um, he wrote back and said, uh, oh, you're you're hanging out, you're hanging out with Taylor Holder now. That dude smokes dick for a living or some shit." He was like, "Don't hang out with me." All, all this crazy stuff. And then, and, and so I was joking around. I was like, "Here, let me see your phone, man." And we sent him a photo. Yeah, on yeah, we sent him a pic of me just smiling. Can't and, win them all. We wrote, said, "Can't I, win I them all." Said, I said, "Can't win them all." And then this and dude started dick riding him. He started like, like bro, he started, that's like, what I don't understand. Us in the, in yeah, the and chat. then he's like, "Yo," and then he's like, "Yo, bro, I don't know if you're down to come ride dirt bikes." Uh, out in the dunes, you, we, I have a bike for you, whatever. And I was and like, then, all right, yo, can I bring Taylor? And the guy's like, yeah, yeah, that shit. That, yeah, yeah, bring Taylor. Uh, I don't know if he could ride. I'm like, bro, he's definitely way faster than you. You seem like a fucking goon, dude. <laughs> and it's just funny because you go from that to like literally just absolutely shitting on my life to being like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I just think it's on. funny that these people would never, do you think they would ever say it to your face? No, no bro, that never happened. No, right? Man. Yeah, a lot of the time, a lot of the time, you know, very, very, actually like very rarely like, you know, dude, like I, I go out to bars and stuff like that. And like I, you know, being in the, the country music scene now, like I have gotten a lot more dude fans. So that's really cool because it's been 
Yeah, just you got recognized the other day at breakfast. Yeah. That dude kind of got, he got his knees dirty a little bit. Yeah, huh? He was mopping him. <laughs> and, little, uh, little mop <laughs> session. And and so, like, I, it's been cool, but, like, a lot of the time, yeah, it's, like, usually, like, any, anybody that really, like, usually chirps is, like, guys that have, like, 15 people with them, and yeah. then they're, like... They got they got backup. Oh, like... But this is what I don't get. This is... Like, this is and, yeah. and, and, I, and I don't give a fuck what anybody says, because you were just saying when you were doing all the videos and all the cringy shit in L.A., you were making two, three hundred thousand dollars a month. If you're listening to this or if you're watching this, if you're going to sit here and say that you wouldn't make a video of you dancing on TikTok to make 300 fucking thousand a month and you're going to say no to that, you're a scumbag. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, that's someone that's that's 3 years of someone's salary. Yeah. What the and fuck is that? But that's what's like drives me nuts. Like and now we got bitches sewing the feet and shit. Fuck you. Yeah. I'll shake dick. <laughs> I'll never do it though. Don't get me wrong. I'll never. I'll, I just. I. I just. I'll do the video and I'll look at myself and be like, "Fuck you, dude." Like to myself. <laughs> and I'm thinking of doing a video like so that, reacting me, to myself. You're telling me that if someone came up to you and was like, "I will give you," we'll just say a hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and you have to for a month post like dance videos of yourself. Dude, that's you wouldn't do it. That's probably. Dude, one hundred fifty thousand, two hundred thousand yeah. dollars in one month. You got to post. How you got to post at least three times a week. You just, like dancing on TikTok. See, I don't dude. know how to dance. No, no, no. Me but, neither. Like, I don't either, dude. I didn't know. How to but dance. what kind you of dance? bro? You but, fucking. Like, you, what do you, you know how to fucking dance, You gotta, dance, like, you gotta bro? take your shirt off and. Bro, just do, like, I know damn for sure. This, guy, try, this like, guy tries to dance. He loses a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. At the gym today, we went to the gym today. Never fucking do that again. What? Never take your shirt off again and do flies. <laughs> oh, Never do that again. Dude. This no. fucking asshole shows up to the this dick shows up to the gym with a fucking stringer on. The dude's <laughs> 70 pounds soaking wet, takes it off and starts doing flies in front of everyone. I'm sitting there like, I don't want to be a part of this dude. I don't want to be a part no, of this. No, yeah. No, you Yeah, but you, you did you, that because the chicks in front of us had some set of wheels. No, not. No, nah, I, 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 I was mean, doing I'm like that every, every time I go. But like, you know what's weird about it is like a lot of people will take that as like a douchebag move. But like, I realistically. <laughs> no, that is a douchebag move. Do, no, I, I've dealt. I mean, you've probably seen my transformation on Instagram. I don't know like where like where I was a year and a half ago. Or yeah, you went from soaking wet <laughs> to drenched. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yo. What the what this dude, what the this fuck dude is, went, what the yo. fuck is he here for? Is he here just to make the fucking applause and laughs <laughs> like doubled up and stacked? Because I'm just, I haven't heard a single well, fucking word from this motherfucker. Well, All of a sudden, you say somebody. <laughs> no, well, he's built like he's the Pillsbury it. Doughboy. You fat fucking. No, he looks like shit. fucking uh. Bro, come come on, you just use that joke, you fucking upside down asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sign down S. Yo. Yo, how many <laughs> slices of <laughs> That's actually like this. Like, I lost my, I lost my tooth. Eating <laughs> fucking. <laughs> yo, this guy yeah. really. Yo, I'm gonna yo. call the cops. I'm gonna call the cops. I'm gonna dude, call the cops. I'm calling the cops, dude. I'm calling the fucking cops. Fuck that. Uh-huh. Uh, how about this guy? He's fucking pissing right now, dude. <laughs> he rubs his balls and then pisses. <laughs> yo, yo, you've had your feet in my fucking face <laughs> yeah, the dude. whole podcast. Well, I've dude. been trying to get you to sleep. You damn near were fucking sitting on his face the entire car ride. Yeah, I know, you bro. This fucking guy was shitting his bro, dick I might, Everyone's going to call me a sellout for saying this, but I'm going to be honest with you, bro. You're a fucking good ass dude. Man. Nah, seriously. Gee. And... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Yo, he's delusional. He's delusional. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, come on, man. I'm done with this, dude. I'm sweating over here. You guys. He's going to call the cops. He's going to call the cops. Oh, He's fucking out of it. Yo. Sit your ass down. <laughs> Sit the fuck down. Yo. Yo. Sit the fuck down. Fucking piece oh, of shit. Outside. Outside. Yo, we got to have a fight. You'd fuck, oh, fuck. I'd fuck you up, dude. Let's go. You want to go? No, tonight? honestly, bro, all jokes aside, because I... You, we should do a video of me sparring you. <sighs> Oh, I, I, this is gonna make me sound like a fucking yeah, I'm dickhead. A, I'll go easy though. Like I, like I'll. Bro, I never box in my life. I should probably. I should really start training. No, like I'll just. I really should start training, dude. Whenever you want, man. Come out here. You can come to the gym and just see you how you guys, like it. You look like Ahmed from Backyard Baseball. <laughs> I wish we had a camera on this <laughs> guy right now, idiot. bro. You look no. <laughs> you know what he looks like. 
No, no, you it know does, what he right? looks like? He oh, literally what the fuck. They're so big that he looks like like if a toddler put headphones on. His Yo, head. you look like Adrian Nunez. Your head looks huge. Oh, oh, <laughs> Who gives Yo. a fuck? No, no, dude. Yo, did you hear what he said to Adrian last night? He goes, bro, because you know how Adrian, his hair is super curly. He <laughs> goes, oh, yeah, bro, goes I, like your, I like your roll-up hat that you got going on. Oh, oh, I thought you no, said Brillo pad. I called him a Brillo pad. I thought you said a roll-up hat because what his the hair fuck is a, a roll-up hat. No, he looks like a Brillo pad. What do you mean, what the fuck is a roll-up hat? 90% of the fucking things you guys say, I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't fucking well, know well, what it is. I'm going to be honest with I, you, bro. I don't know. The roll-up hat, you know, you could wear it. Yo, can I ask you but, something? Sure. Can I ask you something? You know what my... my I've already fu- fucking... No, no, no. My least favorite fucking word in the world, my least favorite word that I... When I listen to it, my ears cringe because I get called it sometimes. Influencer. Yeah. No, let me ask you something. What the fuck does that mean? Because what, what were you doing influencing people <laughs> that dance like douchebags? I'm serious. I'm sorry. But what are you influencing? <laughs> no. No. no you wanna know what's and funny. what are you influencing? <laughs> to fucking roast your girlfriend? To yeah, fucking... Yeah. What are you influencing? What am I influencing? Lose your teeth. Be an asshole! <laughs> Yo, I lost this fucking tooth. <laughs> I lost my tooth. No, dude. I, every time people say that shit, bro. Every time people say that shit, I'm like, dude, I say it all the time. Like, what is that? I'm the first one to say. I, I don't know what the fuck it is, man. I but hate that word, dude. I guess, like, technically, yes, you would be an influence to the world or whatever. To do what? Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense, um, bro. Because, like, Mike check, he's not um, an influence. He's under the influence. You know what I mean? But a motivational so, speaker that's is a, not that's called the name a mo- of our reality show that we have coming out with, like, freaking. Well, um, under the influence? Yeah. Shut the fuck up, dude. With, with Tyler and Kristen and, and, and Whitney oh, and all those. I've roasted all Is everyone them. actually under the influence? Because I know Tyler doesn't drink. Uh, no, no, no. It's not like that. It's like under the inf- <laughs> Yeah, fucking. But Tyler. Yeah, fucking up. But no, no, no. I always tell people, dude, I am, I am the... Because I get comments sometimes where it's like, you, you're my inspiration. You're my role model. I'm like... With I mean I appreciate you, but like I'm the farthest thing from an inspiration or a role model. Yeah. Or I'm actually the comp- I'm actually a complete fucking opposite. I'm I'm a little fuck up and like dude, I dropped out of high school. I'm a complete degenerate. I I I've I you know whatever it is like I, I'm it's not I'm not the fucking I'm not someone that you should look up to. If anything, I'm someone you should learn from. And yeah, I feel sense. like they should look like, up to you now, though. Not, not maybe. I mean, dude, because yeah, yeah. Now, I mean, yes, I look dude, up to you. I, I went up to. <laughs> yeah, but that's because you're short. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. You, that's because you're about fucking four foot nothing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you don't fucking look up. <laughs> 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 dude, fuck. Yo, so who who the fuck you boxing next, bro? Oh, yo, would you do? Tell you, yo, can't you tell do, you, pal. Would you do brass knuckles? Br- bare Brass? knuckles, same shit. Fucking guy. No wonder why his teeth is flying out. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I I wasn't a fan of Bryce Hall because of his fucking shit that that he uh um, yeah because of his content. But yeah. I gave him respect after he did the bare knuckles. Dude, I, I, absolutely, man. And and no matter I feel like no he did that. Just we, no matter where we are with our friendship anymore, man. Dude, I'm 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 sorry, the, I'm the person that I will put my ego aside for a second and like I will give respect where respect is due. Yeah. Uh, I mean, dude. Let alone. I got in that boxing ring and froze the fuck up. I walked out there for my first fight ever in front of 30,000 people. Wait, your first fight was with the Gib guy? Yeah, yeah. And I I walked out there. He had already fought multi. He fought Jake. He fought like all that stuff. And so he did have that experience over me and all that stuff. But I walked out there and I saw all the people and my heart fell out of my ass, bro. bro, I fucking froze up, man. Bro, um, I know the they, same, zoomed, they zoomed into it. There's no excuse, though. But yeah, fuck you. Um, but, <laughs> but, no, but, but what I'm saying, though, is yes, dude, like... All the respect in the world, bro. It's hard enough to get into a boxing ring with gloves on and oh, punch each other in the face, let alone bare knuckle. Like, Wait, he won, bro. right? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Listen, I didn't watch the full thing, but I he know did, he, he did won. drop. He you did know, drop you know, who, the guy. you know who didn't win? The only thing that I have argued... Fuck you. You. Yeah, fuck you. I didn't <laughs> win either, though. I didn't win either. He technically <laughs> did. I, I lost my hey, two points. Bryce you know, how how many, how many didn't win his boxing match. Bryce is undefeated. Me, plus yeah, yo, you can't, can't even box you up. Yo, okay. no, 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 no. Fuck Duke's you. Let me finish this. My ADHD, my ADHD isn't going to let me fucking keep going. I got to finish this shit. <laughs> Moral of the story, yes, mad respect to him because that takes a fucking lot of balls to get in there. Not yeah. going to admit, but you asking me if I would do it, I would do it, but at the end of the day, just like boxing, just like bare knuckle, I, the, I mean, Dude, money so speaks. Crazy. Like It's a business at the end of the day. If you pay me enough, he probably made a bag off that. Right. Yeah. Yeah, right? I, I don't I obviously don't do you have know, any, how many points did you lose by exactly. did you lose by points yeah right uh I no nah, he dude. fucked you up it was like techn- fuck it no, was technically dude. a draw fuck, no he didn't no nah, I'm not going your defense I, was incredible yeah I mean dude I I I I really am a lot better than what I showed that night yeah um but you know dude I I I can't I can't make so any what was it technically dude. a draw 
Well, so ah. that's what they called it. Uh, dude, I watched back the fight. Well, I definitely lost, bro. And, and it wasn't that, like, I got fucked no, up. No, no. It, it was just, like... You weren't like, throwing, though. You weren't throwing as I much. I didn't throw yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw one thing Your that surprised the hell out of me, good. though. You know, I was catching a lot of stuff. He caught me, like, those, like, one or two good yeah, times I that, like, yeah, but he went, was like, crazy. cheap shots. OD. Right? No, it wasn't like crazy. There was like that one where like the ref was trying to split it up and he hit me and I got a little pissed off. Yeah, but, yeah, I saw that. But no, yeah. like one thing that surprised the fuck out of me about Gib, I'm not going to lie, and I think that's where like Austin at Broom saw it. I think that's where Jarvis saw it. I think that's where all the stuff is no matter like, like he is so, he fights so goofy and he fights so unorthodox. All over the place, right? But that motherfucker. Oh, he was energetic But that fuck. motherfucker does not run out of gas, bro. No. Like, he has the most insane gas tank I've ever seen in my life. Diesel or, or on, on, on he's, lease? Dude, he's Unleashed. on diesel, bro. He's diesel. on fucking, yeah, bro. Like, he ain't on, like, the premium. He's bro. not, bro. He diesel, gassed bro. out after the first 30 seconds. Oh, well, I'm out of shape, dickhead. Yeah. yeah he's but, your fucking 8,000 pounds eating fucking four <laughs> slices of pizza before you go to bed, then you wake up and have another nine. This guy was eating ice cream over his ball sack. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, bro, how do you even do that? What do you guys... What, like, I would, like, fucking really be curious to see what goes through y'all's brains. No, you don't want to know. Dude, I have, like, a... um my Yeah. yeah no, no. I don't know. We just started getting closer this year, I think, right? Because you... I don't even got, like you, dude. You got. Um, I gotta. I gotta piss. I'm gonna fucking excuse myself for 30 seconds. Make sure you guys talk as much oh, wait, shit no, as no, you no, possibly cut, can. Cut this part no, out no, no. Just talk as much shit as you possibly can. Yeah, no, dude. What, what I bet time you are we do. on? I bet you do. You because you're out oh, of shape. You're, you're out of shape. Right, that so, you're tired from talking. No, so no. Fuck. Talk we're just gonna end it here because it's over at 50 minutes. Uh, you, you're, you're still a scumbag. So you're holding me here. We don't like you. I can't fucking go piss. What? <laughs> what? No. Nah, right, okay. Here, let me answer that and then we'll we'll fucking end it. Uh, who am I fighting next? Yeah. I don't fucking know. Don't I you have a fight in March? Yes. Yeah, so I have been talking. There is talks that I I possibly am fighting March or April. Obviously, it's very much up in but the But you don't air. know who it is. Um, I just don't want to go to like the UK and fight right now. Like That's oh, just yeah. so Fuck far, that. especially with the music stuff. So I was uh, trying to find out when the next US card is. They're shooting around there. So that, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. I hope I was allowed to. But oh. that's whenever I'm trying to shoot to fight. Can I, uh, should, um, we tell them, should we tell them but, the surprise that we've been talking about, though? Who's going to be the undercard? Undertaker. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, what happened? Yeah. Tell him. I'm going to be the undercard. He's going to be the undercard. No, you're fucking not. Yep. yep. No way. <laughs> yep. And your fight? Yep. Is this a lie? No. No. Wait, no. really? This is real. I mean, it's 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 tr- we're trying to make we're it happen, trying. obviously. It's- yeah, we're trying to do it. <laughs> yeah. Really? yeah. Wait, can I come? Absolutely. Yeah, you can bro. walk out with me. I, I don't want to do that. Yeah, you do. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, really? Yeah, bro. Oh, dude, I'm not gonna lie. They, dude, they, yes, they, have, they have sent yes, me. Dude. They have sent me damn near the Urban Dictionary of a list of people to fight. And oh, you could pick and choose who you want to fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so well, you just so, choose so the like, guy at the worst they level. They tell me. They tell me. I mean, technically, yes, but like, I also like. I'm not gonna get in there with someone like. Oh, so you're you, like a sandbagger with That's someone like, like you, you and just fucking kill this motherfucker. You know <laughs> yeah, I mean? yeah. Him. Like I couldn't do that, but <laughs> but no, I, yeah, I basically easy, they sent me easy. a list uh, of all the weight classes. I mean, it goes from like 200 to. All the way down to like yeah. 150, but I can't get down to 150. But they sent me this their entire roster. Wait, I'll basically tell them what I, what I, who I would want to fight. This, that, um, and then they go to those people. They gotta see if they would want to fight me. This and that. There's like a whole process to it. But so therefore, I don't know who I'm fighting. I don't care who I'm fighting. Uh, eventually, I mean, yeah, I want to fight everybody. I do want to get up there and fight the best again. Hopefully, I mean, dude, all the respect in the world, but I'd love to run it back with Gib one day. Um, after I get some more experience in my belt, I think that I think fundamentally wise, man. I and also it's been years, man. And I've been in the gym, just I haven't posted it, man. I don't want people to see what I look like now. Um, I mean, you guys saw it, you know, yesterday or whatever. But frail. um, and um, fucking what did you, what did you say? say? You say frail? Did you, what? what? Did you say fucking? <laughs> did you say frail or fit? Uh, what, what did you say? Me who? Yo, frail, bro. Frail. Still frail. Frail. Anyways, um, I didn't say nothing. And so. I just want to do. That's the thing I struggled with the most. I could tell. So that's where I like. I know well enough to not be like, oh, I'm not as good as these guys. I know I. I know I can hang with them. Um, I just, you know, they've been doing a bunch of fights. They've they've been in the arenas. They've been in front of the crowds. I have not. So I need to definitely. Bro, work that's that gonna up. be so yeah, lit, bro. Yeah. yeah. Yo, honestly, bro. You like this guy? Fucking love him, bro. Yeah. Honestly, dude, I'm 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 liking you. I'm loving you. I appreciate. That. I really am. And for the people that are watching back at home and they're seeing this and you're listening to this, stop believing everything you fucking see, man. All right? The guy, I, I, I'm, I'm curious to know what the what the property taxes are on this guy's cock because you guys love to just live on it. And guess what? The more you live on it, the more money goes in his pocket. So keep living on it. And if you don't like that I'm near him, that's even better because it'll put 
more change. He's fucking like, losing all his teeth right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, he's, cut a, he's cut off, dude. You're, you're cut fucking off. delusional, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro's delusional. <laughs> all right, with that being said, thank you for another episode, guys. Taylor, you're the fucking man. I love I you, brother. That, Give dude. me some skin. Go take your piss. You're the fuck, man. Thank you for coming thank on. Thank you guys uh, for fucking talking shit about me as much as you do. Uh, yeah, fuck you're doing it. We love you guys. I don't Keep, blame you. Make sure you buy the fucking merch, DukeGomez.com. Quality uh, is the best, man. I still need that shirt, man. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I don't ship merch to pussies. <laughs> love you guys.